Hanukkah Sameach, everyone. In honor of Shabbat Hanukkah, I want to draw our attention to the special Haftarah that we'll read this week. It's from the book of Zechariah, and it's always read on Shabbat Hanukkah. If there are two Shabbatot of Hanukkah, as sometimes happens, but not this year, we read from Melachim Aleph on the second Shabbat. Both Haftarot contain descriptions of a menorah, and so both are suggested by the Gemara as potentially appropriate readings for Shabbat Hanukkah. But preference is given to the menorah imagery in Zechariah, more on that in a moment, rather than that of Shlomo. Zechariah's vision comes about before the building of the Second Temple. It opens with words of joy, roni v'simchi, rejoice and be happy, because the temple's about to be rebuilt. And then there's a heavenly court scene. Satan, Satan, is judging the high priest, Yehoshua, the first of the high priests in the Second Temple, and God comes to his defense. Then Zechariah sees a vision of a seven-branched menorah with olive branches on either side, the source of the emblem of the state of Israel. Zechariah is confused by the meaning of this vision, and an angel explains that what the, what the menorah symbolizes somehow is that the temple will be built not through might and not through strength, but through God's spirit, which will animate the second temple. Some have suggested that the reason that this Haftarah receives preference is because it focuses specifically on the Second Temple period, the period of the Chashmonaim, and so it's more connected to the Hanukkah story. It could also be that, like the story of Hanukkah, it's a story about what happens when you rededicate after destruction, so the Second Temple and not the First. What exactly does the menorah symbolize in this Haftarah? I'd love to hear your answers to this question, so find me at Kiddush, but for now I'll share one that comes from the Midrash in Psikta Rabati. The Midrash, as it often does, juxtaposes different verses in order to get at a question, this question really, about the symbolism of the menorah, and it uses different verses about light. So in Sephania 112, in a description of the future redemption, God says, wrote, At that time I will search Jerusalem, or I will search for Jerusalem with candles. Other verses elsewhere imply that redemption will come about through bright light that illuminates the whole world. So the Midrash wants to know, is it candles? Is it a full light? What's the light? And according to the Midrash, this story in Zechariah is God's answer to this question. The menorah is described as vihine menorat zahav kula. It's a menorah entirely made of gold. And according to the Midrash, it's meant to be reminiscent of the way that God speaks about us, about the people of Israel, in Shir Hashirim, in the Song of Songs. Kulach yafa rayati, you are entirely beautiful, says God. Like you are entirely made of gold. These are are thought to have sort of an echo between the two. And so what God is really saying is, you are the candles. The menorah is the symbol of Knesset Israel, of the people of Israel. You aren't the floodlights, you aren't the sun, you aren't the flashlights, you are the candles. You're the sparks that spread and light up the darkness. You're the light that can keep being passed without diminishing. The miracle of the oil, the light that can keep going much longer than we would have possibly imagined, that's what's going to carry us through. This message is amplified through the end of the Haftarah in this reading, not by might and not by force, but by the divine spirit shining through us. That will be the sustaining force. And so in this read, the Haftarah is really highlighting the menorah, the miracle of the oil, the miracle that will provide spiritual sustenance and enable Jewish life to thrive in the second temple period, and then through us, through Knesset Israel, well beyond. Shabbat Shalom and Hanukkah Sameach.